you're probably in a position where you're not praying, you're not reciting Quran, you're not fasting, and you look around you and you see your peers, your colleagues, your family members praying, and they're on top of these things, and they're in fact doing it really well. And where does this leave you? Not in a very good place spiritually. It leaves you disheartened. It leaves you even embarrassed to take that first step. What do we do in this case? The first thing is that we have to understand that guidance and hidayah is something which is a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in these cases, when you're feeling like this, there is a name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is perfect and ideal that you can call him with. When you find yourself plunged into this spiritual darkness, what we must do is reflect on the name of Allah, which is An-Nur, that Allah is the divine light. Because what we will be looking for in these moments of darkness is this light. But is it a physical light? No, not necessarily. And to understand this further, we look at the verse from Surah An-Nur, the verse of light itself, where Allah begins by saying, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard that Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. And many of the classical commentators of the Quran, they mention how this light is not a physical one, rather it is a spiritual one, that Allah can enlighten your heart, how Allah can guide you in other words, guide you through faith. And we find this in many other verses where Allah says, يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ that Allah takes them out from darkness into the light. The darkness of what? The darkness of sin, the darkness of disbelief, the darkness of doubts, into the light of good, into the light of one's faith. And that is ultimately what we should all be aiming for. That when we find ourselves in these situations where we feel disconnected, where we feel distant, where we are experiencing this spiritual darkness, then we should turn to the one who can guide. We should turn to the one who can ultimately provide this light for us. And we have to also reflect on our own journeys that look, my journey is different to someone else's journey. We can't be so hard on ourselves. Yes, perhaps someone else has been trying for a lot longer than we have. We have to take it slow. We have to do whatever we can to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to work on ourselves, to develop ourselves, and most importantly, to call out to An-Nur, the one who is the divine source of light.